So I'm going to start by tracing around the walls. I'm going to choose Draw Continuous Line, and I'm just going to draw very quickly a box around the outer edges of this office. And these lines can be adjusted so that they better fit. Now there was one office in this section that did not get scanned. So we don't have the uh, complete dimensions, but we can use the perpendicular snap to help us determine where the other corner of this box is. Now another way to draw this would be to uh, use a rectangle command. And we could use the three-point rectangle to ensure that we've got a perfectly aligned rectangle. Once we get uh, the two edges or two corner points selected, then we simply go up and find the other end of our room. And Now the image that we've brought in, if you don't bring it in in high resolution, you can go to the image properties and you can change the transparency of this image. So that can help you see what you're drawing on top of. Now you don't have to draw at all. You may decide that you just want to add labels to particular rooms and that can be done by clicking on text and typing out, for example, conference room. Another neat feature about the text is we can click on the settings and tell it we want to show a drop shadow. And then we'll change the, the uh, text color to a yellow and we'll have a black drop shadow. So that'll make that really stand out in this room. That's optional for you. So now we've created some text to help identify the room that we're looking at and where the various parts and pieces are. You may also decide that you want to add a small scale bar. Now this particular scale bar is a little large, so we'll make that a bit smaller. So something like 10 by 1, that'll get us a good start. And if you desire, you may want to add a dimension to get the length or width of your room or building. Now, if you desire to have larger text, we can enlarge the text so that we can see a little bit more clearly. Now, if you were to desire to use one of the clear views, certainly we could do that. I'm going to re-import one. And we'll align this clear view roughly. So that's uh, roughly aligned. Now we'll send that to the back. And on our first image that we brought in, I'll delete it. And now we have the clear view. So to give you an idea of what those look like. Now, if you decide you want to uh, trace over this, to trace walls or the stairs or identify the doors, that's really simple. Simply by clicking on the draw continuous line command you can literally start anywhere and start tracing. And don't worry about being perfect. We can go back and adjust these lines to match 
exactly where they need to go. The tools in this program are really powerful in that they allow you to grab these small nodes and adjust as needed. And adding doors, uh, really simple. Uh, you can either uh, break an opening. For example, I can go to the draw and edit and choose break. And I can open this doorway up just like that. So now I have a doorway that goes in here to this bathroom area. Now this is an open door. So we could trace over that if we like. So you can, uh, you can do a lot of additional work to make your drawing stand out. And if you didn't want to, uh, to see this image, it's really simple just to turn that image off in the layer command. So now all of our lines and text is all isolated by itself. Now, if you want to change the color of your text back to something uh, like just black, you want to turn off that shadowing. That's simple and easy. So you don't have to have the yellow. The yellow works well when you have color images. But on this gray background or white background, it might not stand out quite as much as we would like. So that gives you an idea of how to get started uh, importing your scans, or correction, importing your images and tracing over the top of those, or using your images as standalone diagrams, simply by adding some text and dimensions.